Hello everyone, this is Feylandea. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Anhydrous add-on and how to add your favorite mods to it so that you can use Anhydrous with any sprayer or tank that you desire in the game. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, obviously we need the mod in order to do any of this. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and we're going to search mods. This is in the in-game mod hub for Farming Simulator. You can also search for it while inside your game as well. I just find a website to be easier. So I've searched Anhydrous Ammonia Add-on and the first thing that comes up with the green tank and a precision farming logo is Anhydrous Ammonia Add-on by Fusion Simulations Loki 79. We'll go ahead and click on this and I'm gonna download this right into my mod folder. So here's my mods folder for Farming Simulator. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this now. Now I'm not gonna read the entire description to you, but I do feel it's important to go over this last paragraph because this is a big deal for what we're doing in this particular video. It says, any implements of type fertilizing cultivator or fillable implement with ability to store liquids or pull a liquid caddy will automatically accept anhydrous or with any implement such as a toolbar that is properly configured for anhydrous. The Anhydrous Lua file contains many base game sprayers and injectors that can be enabled by simply uncommenting the appropriate lines. Additionally, there is an example of how to enable an existing mod to allow for Anhydrous to be accepted as a fill type. Before we go into any of that, let's take a look at the mod in the game. All right, so we're here in the game and I've already placed the tank over here. But I'm going to go ahead and show it to you in the store. When you go into the store, you go into construction. You're going to go to container. And while in container, you're going to look for this bad boy right here. The anhydrous ammonia add-on fusion simulations uh, dot 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 gets cut off. But either way, it's the anhydrous ammonia tank. It holds 40,000 liters. It says you can refill your sprayers, toolbars, and tankers at this tank. All right. And then we come over here and we can fill it with anhydrous ammonia or liquid fertilizer. Uh, I already filled it up with anhydrous ammonia, so we'll just leave it be. And by the way, that's the only store item that you get from this pack is this anhydrous ammonia tank. Everything else comes from your own mods and adapting everything so that you can use this anhydrous ammonia in your implements. And we're gonna get to that next. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into crop protection and I'm gonna grab this uh, John Deere R4045. I'm just going to lease this because we're not going to keep it. I'm just using this to demonstrate for the video. And if we hop in, I could go ahead and go in here and confirm for you liquid fertilizer and herbicide are all I can put in here. This thing won't take anhydrous ammonia. I could also drive over to the ammonia tank and I probably will not get a fill trigger for it because the tank is just anhydrous ammonia. So let's go ahead and add this to the Lua file so that we can use this in the game. Okay, so here we are looking at the Anhydrous Lua file, which you can find by going into your Anhydrous Ammonia add-on mod. And right here, you see Anhydrous.Lua. If this appears as a plain white icon, go ahead and open with file and choose Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, I highly recommend installing it. You can also use Notepad if you're a masochist and like torturing yourself. If you actually like things to run fluid, grab Notepad++. It's free. Come on. What have you got to lose? We'll open the Anhydrous Lua and this is what it looks like. We're not worried about any of this code up here. We're going to go straight to the bottom and you're going to see this line right here. Note, uncomment any of the items below to use them with anhydrous. These are all default in-game items and they've separated into categories for you. Now the comments are these double dashes on the beginning. So watch what happens when I take the dashes out. See how that appears in color? So now we have the super cyst 
800. I, I don't even know what that is, but whatever it is, it's it's a farm tech item. But whatever it is, now it can haul anhydrous. You know, if you want to just enable all these, you can. It won't do any harm. So you can literally remove all these comments. But I'm just basically showing you, you know, uh, the premium integral. I use that a lot on European maps. So I'll go ahead and uncomment that. And that's basically how it works right there. You get the idea. You can activate any vehicle you want. Or you could just come through here and just uncomment all these lines. By the way, just uncomment these lines. Do not uncomment these title lines here. Don't do it. If you do, you'll mess up the XML code and the mod won't work. All right. So do not uncomment these lines that are descriptions only. Only uncomment the lines that go to the particular implement or vehicle that you're trying to add. Now, let's go ahead and scroll down here. Referencing other installed mods you wish to enable to accept anhydrous. Ensure all prior lines end with a comma and a final line does not, as illustrated below. G underscore mods directory, subsoiler, large toolbar, true. Okay, so this has a comma. I hit backspace too many times, deleted the bracket. Anyway, I can uncomment that and you see it has a comma. And then this last line does not have a comma. By the way, this is a continuation of all this up here. If you'll notice, these all have commas. These continue into this. And then it's just the bottom line down here. You do not want to have a comma. So to make things easier, what I like to do is just copy the line that does have a comma. And we're just going to add it above the line that doesn't have a comma. That way, we're consistent and we don't forget to delete a comma or anything like that. And we can just add what we want. Here's where it gets fun. Remember the fertilizer sprayer that I was just messing with? Well, let's go into our mods folder and I have it right here. It's the Faye John Deere R4045. And it's an edit I made of JJ's fertilizer sprayer. So I'm going to put that in there. This first part here, the first part is always the folder or file name of the mod. If your mod is zipped, then it's the zip file name. Just an example you know, Anna Burger, HTS or whatever, that will be what goes right here. And then after this slash is the directory to the XML for the vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the John Deere R4045 and it's right here in the root directory. So all I need is this R4045 XML. So let's come here and let's replace this BBLR toolbar with R4045 XML. So now we have Faye JJ John Deere R4045 slash R4045 XML. It already has the comma. This line down here does not have the comma. I'm going to save. That's literally all we need. And we're ready to play. And by the way, before we go into the game, just to show you, I did uncomment all the default vehicles. So now they're all enabled. And I added a few more mods. I've got the uh, custom modding 2150 Early Riser series. The John Deere 1775 NT, the Case Titan Pack, and the Case IH Trident all are added as well. This is a good example right here. When you start listing mods, this is probably what your file is going to start looking like. There is no limit. The only limitation is you got to make sure that all these lines have a comma and then whatever the last mod is cannot have a comma. That's all you need to remember right there. All right, let's go into the game and check out our sprayer. All right, so we're back in the game. We're going to hop into the sprayer and look what we got up here on the left. Start filling in the F1 menu here uh, in the upper left hand corner. Start filling was not there before. So now we can come in here and there it is. Anhydrous ammonia. There it is filling up looking in the lower right. We're filling with anhydrous ammonia. It works. So now you've added the John Deere R4045 by JJ or whatever mod you used. Yeah, you could have used any mod following along this video. I guess I should have mentioned that earlier. You don't, you didn't have to use this sprayer to follow along with this video. It's 100% full with anhydrous ammonia. You are now ready to use anhydrous ammonia on the field. All right, so here's the great thing about this mod. This is compatible with precision farming and it is compatible with the anhydrous ammonia precision farming mod. That means that the game will recognize anhydrous ammonia as fertilizer when you're using it on the field. Liquid fertilizer, I should say. Specifically liquid fertilizer. When you go out on the field and you start applying this stuff, 
if you're using the application rates, it will actually recognize. Also, note in the upper left, see where it says nitrogen dash anhydrous application? The game actually does acknowledge that you are laying down anhydrous ammonia. It's not like a cheap shortcut. You're not just pretending to lay liquid fertilizer. The game is actually acknowledging you're using anhydrous application. The anhydrous application, I believe it's been customized by the mod authors. So it works appropriately with each crop, just like the liquid fertilizer does. That way, when you go out on the field, you can spray just like you do with liquid fertilizer. If you do the spot spray, you should be okay. If you do the automatic application, you should be okay. So there you go. Obviously, I'm not going to go out and start spraying stuff to show you that part you should already know. The whole point of this video was just to in introduce you to how to edit the Lua file and just kind of give you an idea of what this mod is all about. This is an absolutely great mod. It is now in my must-have arsenal. I will always have it installed in my game from now on, and I'll always use anhydrous on my field just because, I, I don't know, I just like it better. Uh, I'm kind of more of an old school when it comes to the supplies that farmers use. In real life, anhydrous is kind of starting to fade out to, you know, modern fertilizers that are kind of coming in, synthetics and whatnot. But a lot of the farming community does still use anhydrous. Okay, guys, that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get some use out of this video. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps me to kind of try to grow this channel. I am a new streamer, as you can see. I barely got any subscribers. I'm just getting started. But my whole plan with this whole channel is to create tutorials like this to help you along, as well as create content about my real life trucking as well. So feel free to join me in the future on any of my videos. I also do live streams regularly, feel free to join me live anytime I'm on. You guys take care. This is Phelan Dea signing off. You have a good day.